Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn transparent data encryption in SQL Server. This feature is introduced with SQL Server 2008. Encryption of database file is done at page level. The pages in an encrypted database are encrypted before they are written to disk and are decrypted when read into memory. To prevent unauthorized access, we have TDE at SQL Server. If I say unauthorized, it means when someone steals the physical media drives or backup tapes where our backup files are or database files are stored, they can easily restore or attach to a database and browse its data. As a result, our sensitive information will land into the hands of an unauthorized person. And to prevent that, we enable TDE in SQL Server for a database. Once you enable transparent data encryption for a database, the database backups will also be encrypted. In the event that the backup of database gets lost or stolen, the person will not be able to restore the database without the appropriate certificate, keys and password. The main purpose of TDE is to protect data by encrypting the physical files, both MDF and LDF files. It will not encrypt the data inside the database. For that, you have to check for column level encryption. And if you enable TDE, it will not increase the size of the database, encrypted database. And this encryption is known as encrypting data at rest. And this is available in enterprise and developer editions of SQL Server. Just have a look at the transparent data encryption architecture. At first place, we have Windows operating system level data protection API, which encrypts or decrypts service master key that is found in the SQL Server instance. Then we have a service master key which encrypts the database master key for the master database. The data, then the database master key of a master database creates a certificate in the master database and that certificate encrypts the database encryption key in the user database and thus creating the database encryption key. And the entire database user database is secured by the transparent data encryption key which is known as DEK of that user database. Before we proceed further, I just would like to let you know one thing. Some time ago, I have made a video on database backup encryption. I just want you to go through this video and see and understand the difference. Here we just encrypted the database backup. We have not encrypted the database. But in the current video, we are going to encrypt the database, which in turn encrypt the database backup. Now let us proceed further. We'll see the step by step process or procedures that is involved in enabling transparent data encryption. The first step is to create a master key and then create a certificate and then create a database encryption key which is called DEK and then back up the certificate and key and we have to set the encryption on for the user database. Let us see a demo. Here is my SQL Server instance and I have got six databases. I am using demo database for this demo session and before I enable TDE on this database, let me check if Encryption is already enabled or not using sysdot databases. And I can see here the is encrypted column. Everything is zero. It means encryption is not enabled for any of the databases under this instance. And before I enable TD on this database, it is recommended to take a database backup, a full database backup of that particular database. So that if something happens later, I can revert back my changes. The database backup is successful. Now let's go to a step by step process of enabling TDE on that particular database. The first step is to create a master key using a strong password. Set master key encryption by password and then create a certificate with the subject under the same master database. So once we create the master key and certificate, you can verify this under master database here under security you have certificates you can see this is demo cert which is the certificate that you have just created okay and then next go to the database where you want to enable TDE and create a database encryption key 
using the certificate that you created in the previous step and then if you see there is a warning here it says you have to back up the certificate and a private key that is associated with the demo cert certificate if you don't have the certificate and private key later you will not be able to access the da this database or you will not be able to restore the database in another instance so we'll back up the certificate and key you have to connect to master and then execute this step and the last step is to set the encryption on for the database but let me before that let me show you the certificate and key in the backup folder you can see here i have my backup of the certificate and the key in my backup folder so these two are useful when you are trying to restore this database this encrypted data database in another instance and the last step is to set encryption on for that particular database demo now it's completed now if you check sysdot databases you can see the is encrypted column for demo database it is one it means now the database is in encrypted state but if you observe for temp db also it is one we have not enabled encryption for temp db but it is automatically encrypted when you encrypt a user database in the instance as we already know our database demo is in encrypted state now a backup is performed after encryption is enabled So I'm taking a backup here for this demo database. My backup is successful. And here I have my backup file. Let's say now a unknown user or unauthorized user have access to this directory and taken this backup file. And they are trying to restore it in the another instance or the instance where they are having access. So for that, I am just connecting to a different instance. Okay. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to restore this backup file in my instance. Restore database. Select that backup file. Demo 2 okay so once i click okay you can see the restore is failed why the restore is failed because this backup file cannot find the server certificate with the thumbprint if you remember we have already enabled encryption on this database so without the certificate and the key no user will be able to restore the database in any instance okay so then how to do a restore the first step is to create a master key using a strong password master key is created successfully now the second step is to create a certificate using the backup of source certificate and this key so if you remember, we have backed up the certificate and key in the source instance. You have to copy that certificate and key to the destination and then create a certificate using those backups. I mean, the backup certificate. And remember, the password should be same, which is used while encrypting the database. If you give a wrong password, you will not be able to create a certificate. I am wantedly giving the wrong password and see the private key is invalid. You have to give the right password or the same password. Completed successfully. So I have created the certificate and a key successfully. Now I can directly go ahead and restore the database. To restore the database, right click on database, restore. Select the backup file. Okay. If you are restoring it in the same instance, then 
you can relocate the files because the log file and data file will be in the same location and okay and see the restoration has been successfully completed okay and if you see the database of uh, demo is not encrypted we just restore the database from the backup file okay so this is how we restore the encrypted database backup in another instance please note that tde is not available for system databases it cannot be used to encrypt master model or msdb however in the demo we have already seen tempdb is automatically encrypted when a user database enable tde but it cannot be encrypted directly tde does not provide encryption across communication channels i hope this is clear for now if you like the video please hit like button do share and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching the video we'll meet in our next video